If you ask the average 10-year-old what they use a computer for, you might be surprised at the results. A little bit of homework, watching videos, and playing games. Those are the answers we would expect, right? But elementary students these days are digital natives. They don't want to consume technology. They want to create things like videos and apps and mod their favorite video games. Doing so requires skills in computational thinking, which involves solving problems, designing systems, and understanding human behavior through fundamental computer science concepts. And these computational thinking skills do more than just keep kids busy and entertained. They open the door to new career opportunities. In fact, Canada's ICT industry is growing, and a recent report states that by 2019, we will not be producing enough graduates to meet demand. So what can we do? Why not teach computational thinking to elementary students? Unfortunately, elementary teachers find themselves poorly prepared to teach computational thinking due to a lack of training, misconceptions about the subject and career opportunities, and no time to fit it into an already packed school year. My research aims to address these issues. I have created a workshop on computational thinking for elementary teachers. This workshop does more than just cover the basics of computational thinking, such as algorithms, but discusses curricula already in place around the world and walks teachers through a variety of engaging classroom activities. At the center of these activities is a framework, which I've created by modifying an engineering design framework that is already in place at post-secondary engineering institutions. This framework opens up space, <laughs> this framework opens up space for new and creative cross-curricular activities, for example, teaching students about sequences and loops by programming a friend to dance the Macarena. Or covering the English language arts requirements for story writing, not by writing the story on a piece of paper, but by programming characters on a screen to act it out. My framework will give teachers the tools to design their own activities, which will smash misconceptions that computational thinking is boring or a subject that can only be used to teach math and technology concepts. Finally, by giving teachers practice with popular tools, games, and apps, I hope that they would gain confidence in the subject. This is especially important if programming and computational thinking become part of Alberta's curriculum in the upcoming years. Computational thinking doesn't have to be a new, scary subject meant for those only interested in technology. Once teachers are assured of the cross-curricular potential and have practiced with the tools, they'll be able to help their students become creative designers who may even teach a robot how to dance. Thank you.